Good evening. It's uh, now 545 in the year of our Lord, October 24th, 2024. The Livingston Parish Financial Committee meeting is now in session. Mr. Ringo Shikoni, would you please lead us in a play prayer? Thank you. Uh, would uh, Zach Schulte, would you please say the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, make sure that you silence all cell phones, please. Uh, roll call. Mr. Mangus. Here. Mr. Watts. Here. Mr. Erty. Here. Mr. Goff. Here. All present. Thank you. Um, first thing we have is uh, new business. Uh, Mickey McMorris is a CFO for the parish. Please state your name and address for the record. Mickey McMorris, 33723 Beverly Drive, Denham Springs, Louisiana. The um, financial director for the parish. Uh, one thing you'll see at your, your desk is uh, we wanted to present uh, a new payroll system. Currently we have uh, an aging system that is extremely difficult to work with. Every pay period we have some issues. This particular contract that needs to be signed relatively quickly uh, in order to, to begin January 1st, uh, and these would be 25 expenditures, 2025 expenditures. Um, we have to start the process now. You know, it takes uh, at least 30 days, 90 days to, to get this up and running to be ready to, to go on January the 1st. So, I mean, we're, we're a little tight on time, but, but they said they can still make that happen. Can you explain how this might be a savings or a benefit for the staff? So currently the, the staff has to do the 941s, the retirement, the um, SUDA reports, all of, all of those. This will automatically do that for us, uh, which will save us a tremendous amount of time. It also do a W-2s at the end of the year for mm -hmm. us. Uh, these, the, the reporting is a lot better. And, one of the, the critical things that made us look at it very heavily was during the hurricane, it's very difficult with the system we have to distinguish those hours. You know, we had to do a lot of manual work, still working on it, to be honest with you, in order to, to separate those hours so that we can um, make for reimbursement requests for that. All right, uh, thank you. Uh, gentlemen, do we have any discussion on this? I'd be, curious on, I'd be curious if you even knew how old the old system really is, because I know it's, I know it's older. Like, really, the the benefit of the old system, I suppose, is it has a fingerprint, and uh, you, you know, so people, will, you know, you have to clock in with a, with a fingerprint, which is pretty antiquated. You know, this system, you'll be able to do it with your cell phone, you know, so, um, you know, especially for like our DPW workers that, I mean, they have to drive from wherever their, their home is, they have to come in and, and um, oh, well, the HR director said it was, um, it was actually, um, we've been using it since 2007, so uh, it, it does have, some very limited value. Uh, now, we don't pay much for it. You know, we pay like 
three thirty five hundred dollars a year or something like that. But, uh, but that it, it costs a the, tremendous amount of time. On, the man on our, hours are staff. Yes, yeah, staff. Yes, hours. I'll make a motion. We accept recommendation. Do we have a second? Okay, we have a duly made motion uh, by Mr. Goff, seconded by Mr. Watts. So, um, all, in, all in favor? Aye. Yes. 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 Okay, the motion carries. We will send that to the council under the financial committee reports. Thank you, Mr. Mr. McMorris. All right, let's see. Um, we also have uh, Mr. McMorris for the financial uh, report. So we, we provided the, the um, third quarter financial report for, for your review. Um, I mean, it's quite extensive, so um, we don't anticipate any issues that we've seen, so um, that's for your review. How were your uh, estimations at the uh, start of the year for now compared to now? Well, obviously, we are preparing an amendment based upon our actual expenditure. So, um, I mean, that's just common practice. You, you're just not going to, to get it within 5% without an amendment. And this was a, uh, a budget that was unfamiliar to, to, to us and to you as well. So we have learned a lot in, in these few months. So, um, but we will. The, the amendment would be prepared at the same time as the, the um, 25 budget is, is uh, presented to you. When will the Finance Committee in receive that? Well, currently I'm working on it daily and on weekends. So <laughs> uh, we should have that. Um, we, we, we waiting on that. I, I don't need an exact date. I just, you know. Uh, I'm going to say by, by the 15th of, of uh, November, you will be able to review and make comments. And uh, Is there a state requirement of like when that needs to be? By, by um, charter. Is, is a, and, uh, can I say a few things? Yes. We had already prepared the draft. I'm sorry, can you? We, I'm sorry, Ren the lad past present. We had already prepared the draft, and y'all had got the draft point. Right, that was uh, last. December the 5th is what the charter says. You get the official one. Okay, December 5th. Thank you. Uh, it has to be advertised, too, right, Ms. Sand? Yeah. Yeah, do we have to advertise it before that? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have it within the, the guidelines, yes. All right. Mr. McKinney, one thing I just me would like to see, if possible, it doesn't have to happen right away, but on these columns here, it shows you know the different things. Uh, and I know there's a capability of putting a percentage over yes. on that side of how much percentage of the total budget it is, et cetera. Is that something that y'all can? That's a programming issue, but I, I'm pretty sure we can, we can get that done. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. All right, um, moving on, let's see, uh, we have uh, one more thing from Mickey Morris. We have the uh, Funk and Winkler audit. Yeah. Falk and Winkler had submitted a, a, a contract to you that was, uh, was agreed upon, and they exceeded that substantially so I believe <clears throat> I believe the contract was right at 70,000 and the mr. Uh, Tommy Lejeune who is the the um, chief officer of Falcon Winkler he approached me said they had at least 125,000 in it he asked if if I could present to you um, if if he could get 27,000 additional dollars it would uh, help him out greatly do we have this in the budget? Yes, we can make that happen, yeah. All right. Um, any questions? I think they did a great job, and I think they had to cover a whole lot of area that 
wasn't expected. So, and and they, I that. think they'll save us money for twenty five. You know that it's uh, they will do less and less work as it as you know if you continue to hire them. Yes. I make a motion that we uh, approve that additional twenty seven to that contract. Okay. All right, we have a duly made motion by Mr. Goff, seconded by Mr. Erty. Uh, we will send this with our approval to the uh, full council. All right, um, now we have uh, Mr. Uh, Shavers. Discussion of ARPA funds. Ryan Shavers, Councilman for District 2. I'm going to hold off on this until the council agenda because I've got some questions about what's on there. Mr. Shavers, can you state your address for the council as well? Sure. 10024 Lexington Drive. Thank you, sir. Stidham Springs. All right. And you're going to hold off? We're going to hold off on this. Okay. I know you guys requested me to be here. And yes, I, sir. I've, I've done Thank this you. discussion already at the Finance Committee, but right. I'm going to hold off and do it. We're going to have the council meeting. We're going. I got some questions. Thank you okay. for showing up for this. All right, um, now we have um, Finance Committee member Joe Erty update on Beaver Trapper. Uh, yes, John. Um, as I've said before, above Albany, there's a major uh, there problem with beavers up there. They were flooding 50 or 100 acres, and it got out of hand. So uh, calling with uh, wildlife and everything, I, I found a professional trapper beaver license hunter. And uh, so uh, I met with him last Tuesday and we went up to where the beaver dam is at. And, and I knew that uh, DPW had went in there maybe about a month ago and they busted the dam open. Right. What I didn't know was because of the dry spell, there was not hardly any water there at all where the dam was. And I went there when it was like this deep, you know, chest deep. And now there's no water. We walk right down the center of the creek. But the hutches are there, and they're still there. They're waiting for the winter rain to come. And it's the, uh, this two guys, he brought a partner with him, and um, they said that they're, they're not going. There's a million footprints everywhere. They're in... They're up in the banks and in like a little slough like. But anyway, I met with them and told them what we wanted. We want to, you know, have the beavers removed because they're going to kill the land and they're going to get into some homes one day if it spreads far enough. So I found uh, these guys, Elite Entrapment Incorporated, and I got some figures from them. And let me just run this by and then finish with something else. But number wise for money, it's $300 to set the traps, $300, that, that's the start of it. It's, it's $100 per day for them to go check the traps, you know, day by day, or, her, or every other day, whatever. I asked him, how many times do you think you might have to check the traps? He said, five, six, seven, eight times should be enough. He said, if it, if it would go beyond that, he said, We'd, have to, we'd all have to agree and let him know that we're willing to pay more. So the and other... Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. What, what parish is he? Is he from Livingston? Yes, he is from, okay. from the Walker, Livingston Walker area. You know, his name is Tim Browning. Tim Browning is his name. I have his number right here. So anyway, uh, so I said, well, what about the animals? They, they're going to trap them and they're going to take them somewhere else. That, that's how they do their business. So, uh, and so every animal that they take, that they catch and they take, it's $50 per animal, $50 per every beaver. Okay. And so I, we tried to guess at this, but it's simply a guess. And we talked about how many beavers might be in there. It could be as little as 25, but it could be 50, because there's a lot of right. footprints. And this, this little small stream that became major, but now as dry as its counter almost. So would you like to make this as a motion and bring it to the council or um, bring it to 
Yeah, we were. I would. I, um, so, but here's the thing. He said he recommended that we not do anything right now because there's no water there. He said we're not going to catch the beaver until the water come back. Okay. He said just present it. Just present it to y'all. I'm giving y'all the information for the whenever the water when the rains come. So we do we do not have to take any action on this. And tonight. his price will be the same if. It starts raining? Yeah, he said, I got to have water for the beaver to move for me to catch them. Okay. And so that that's the gist. And, uh, but I, I did kind of like, I expected a lot more on this. And I kind of said, we should come in $5,000 or less just look, just guessing at it. And that's, to me, that's cheap. I mean, I, I wonder I thought if animal it, control can do anything with beavers. <laughs> Nobody that I called wanted to touch this except these people. I even called wildlife, and they said it's not up their alley no more. Well, thank you very much, Joe, for bringing this to attention. We, we, don't, we do not have to act on this at all tonight except I have the information when needed, and it will come back up when can winter you, gets here. Can you send it to uh, Miss Sandy or whatever so we can all have it? Yes, I can. All right. Yes, I can do that. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Erty. All right. All right. Um, I think this concludes. Do we have a... Motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Make a motion to adjourn. Yeah, we have a motion to adjourn and a second. Yeah. All in favor? Yes. Right. Yes. This concludes the finance committee meeting.